hello people so i welcome you back to class on today's tutorial i'll be teaching you on how to install a zipper so previously we have done how to take accurate measurements how to cut and sew a basic top we pressed it and we cross checked our measurements and it was perfect i believe you have done that too and you have seen that there is no mistake if there are mistakes i believe you must have fixed it by now so to fix the zipper remember that we close the zipper line and we press so we have a flat back and on that line we're going to um, lose it and also fix our zip so that the dress could be worn um, comfortably you know you can't actually wear the dress if there is no zipper because it's not a free dress yeah so to fix the zip i'll be making use of the zip it's longer than the blouse length that's actually what i have i'm not sure if i want to cut the zip but let's just see how it play out so for the purpose of this class i might not cut it because i don't want to waste my zip everything is now expensive <laughs> so to fix the zip i'll be fixing it um in such a way that it will be very neat the invisible way so i will close the um down of the dress with with about one inch i mean minus the m line you know we're still going to m the edges of the dress so if i'm using lining i can use bias or lining to just turn it or i can just cut facing to just turn the blouse because you won't leave the edges rough like this so you can use bias or whatever so i'll go ahead and fold it i mean run my stitch through just a little so that the the zip can have somewhere to close if it was exact length i would have just opened it all through this is a basic class so i don't want to complicate things so now that i have run my stitch through and i'll fold my m m line i left one inch for that so you can see i have just a little of about one inch then i'll start fixing the zipper so i'm fixing my zip and i'm doing it line by line you can see the stopper that metal part is exactly where you're starting it and don't forget that you should turn the neck of your dress either bias facing or lining either one is fine you want it neat right so to fix it you're placing the zip directly on the edge that we have ironed on the zipper line because we ironed it so there is now a line straight down that you're placing it on so you are following that exact line you can see that now so you're placing it on it then you can make use of a pin so that it doesn't move around you can target exactly that line because there is allowance that we already calculated for it so you pin all through as a beginner you might find fixing a zip a bit challenging i won't say difficult because it's actually not difficult but when you pin it down it makes it easier and faster that way by the time you turn it it will be very very neat just fix it this way then you turn you might have to watch the video twice to really really understand then you try it the more you try it, the better you get at it so don't get frustrated fixing the zip yeah so you pin it all through for the first part i'm still on the first part and i'm pinning it down so once you pin it all through the first part you can either go and sew this on the machine first then you come back to the other side or you continue pinning and also pin it up to the second part so towards the end of it you pin and you let the excess zip go inside if it was exactly the same length of the blouse i would have opened it all through to the closing metal at the end of the zip but because this zip is longer than the blouse length so i will have to cut it so you can see i have excess but i'll put it in and i will continue to use my pin to pin it down you can see the upper part is the opening of the zip so i'll just use i'll just pin the other parts down as well so at the end of it this is what i will have a very neat um zipper line yeah you can see it's looking like it's already so i'll go ahead and pin the other side let me show you what exactly it looks like after pinning it so now i have pinned both sides you can see my pins exactly the way i want to sew it so i'll go ahead to my sewing machine it will be very easy by the time i get to the sewing machine because they're already pinned you can see the other side i'm yet to sew it but i'm showing you what the pinned parts look like on the inside and also on the outside so now it's time to move on to sewing machine and run the seam 
so you can see now that i have put it i put um the foot of my um uh, machine i put it so close to the zipper line so that it can be very neat i don't want um the fabric on the zip to be too much on the outside i will need uh, only the plastic part of the zip on the outside of the dress so i'm sewing close to that plastic you have to be careful so that you don't um miss um your target and also you don't you don't break your needle yeah so you have to be careful so i've done a part then i'll remove um the pins that i used so i'll do the same thing for the second part of the zipper you can see it's so close i'm using a black thread so that you can see it very well so you can see it's close to the plastic line and you can see what the other side looks like so this is exactly the result you should have then i'll go ahead and make the second part of it so right now i'm doing exactly what i did for the first part on the second part and i'm starting from the upper part of the dress so just the way i pinned it very close to the plastic i am running my seam remember it must be neat you have to be careful so that you don't break your needles and you don't also miss that line you need a lot of patience to achieve this So now that I'm done with the second part, please cut all the excess thread and also make sure you remove all the paint so that it doesn't damage your skin. So you can see it's neatly done. I'll turn it to the other side for you to see. This is what it looks like on the other side. I can choose to cut off the uh, excess zipper and this is what the results look like. And see the back, we have a slip done already. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Please try it out and tag us on our Instagram page. Thank you.